today I have swatches of the What Really Happened in Vegas collection from Girly Bits. There are five polishes in this collection and they are releasing on August 28th. So I will link Girly Bits down below where you guys can check these out and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Downtown Funk and this is a lighter pink with holographic and then some uh, very small holographic micro glitter as well. So here is one coat. This one covers really well on the first coat. It is a little bit sheer. I can just see my nail line a tiny bit. Formula is fantastic, super smooth, super easy to apply, and the wide brush on these really helps too. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two. It dries just a tiny bit gritty, so you will want a top coat. I don't think you'd need two coats of top coat, just one should be enough just to make it smooth. Downtown Funk. So the next polish is called The Shaft, and this is kind of a bronzy, slightly pinkish, um, I don't want to call it a micro glitter because it's not a micro glitter, it's like a straight up polish, but it has a lot of very, very fine micro glitter throughout it, as well as some holographic. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat, but it should build up fine. Formula is good, smooth, easy to apply, and again, that wide brush really helps. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two. This one actually does not dry gritty at all. It feels really, really smooth. So there is two coats of the shaft. The next polish is Up All Night to Get Lucky, and this is kind of a salmon base with holographic and uh, looks like some gold flakies in there and some holographic micro glitter. So here's one coat. This one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. I can still see through to my nail line pretty well. Formula is good though, smooth, easy to apply. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one covers pretty well on two. The color matches what's in the bottle. Can still see a bit of my nail line though. I don't know how visible it's gonna be on camera, but it's fairly obvious in person. Some people might be fine with two coats on this one, but I'm gonna add three. So there is two coats. So here's three coats. So this one covers completely in three. This one also dries a tiny bit gritty, so you will want a top coat to smooth it out. So there is three coats of Up All Night to Get Lucky. So the next polish is called It Was the Fireball, and this is a darker red linear holographic. So here's one coat. This one covers okay on the first coat. I can still see my nail line, and it's not quite as dark as the color in the bottle. This has a really good formula though. It feels like if you put it on too thick, it might want to run down the sides of the nail, but as long as you do like a normal thickness for your coats, it'll be fine. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one covers completely with two and it matches the color that's in the bottle. This actually dries pretty shiny on its own, but you still will want a good top coat to make it like as glossy as possible and help that holographic stand out. So there is two coats of It Was the Fireball. The next polish is called Blue Ribbon Cankles, and this is a silver holographic micro glitter and a blue jelly base. So here is one coat. I can still see my nail line on this one, but for being a micro glitter, this covers really well on the first coat. Formula is good, smooth, easy to apply. There might be some blue holographic micro glitter in here as well. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two. This will dry pretty gritty because it is a micro glitter, so you will need a good top coat, maybe even two coats of top coat to smooth it out and make it glassy. So there is two coats of Blue Ribbon Cankles. So It Was the Fireball is by far my favorite. This is such an amazing dark red hollow. It's super holographic, but still has a super saturated dark red color to it. Um, I just really, really like this one. Again fall colors, so I'm kind of leaning towards everything fall right now, but I really like this color regardless. So that is the What Really Happened in Vegas collection from Girly Bits. Again, this release is on August 28th. I will link Girly Bits down below where you guys can check those out. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye!